e de radia si e brimu so am ye nyakonya gradually enche ye de yen episodes no e be ba na wey definitely the wash as e bia e won wey and so say nyame won hom kan ye say yen to aso we will continue we talked about babylon ye hu babylon in two sessions a name we are going to talk about is the wine of Babylon. In fact, I ended by asking which wine of Babylon will all nations adopt or drink and will subsequently make the iniquitous cup of the world run full. Um, that is what I asked. And having asked that, we per se have some few examples of Niyama constituting the wine of Babylon in our world. I accepted as truth. Whereas Isaiah warns us, so no men can dear offer papa se bone, no offer bone se papa. But this is the condition of the world. Now I'm making inroads into the very fiber of the truth. That is Christianity. And that is how sad the whole thing is. And in today we are going to talk about the wine of Babylon. We are going to talk about the wine of Babylon. So Revelation chapter 14, verse 8, at the mind. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Until we've identified, say, Babylon is the Roman Catholic papacy. Now, he is uniting the whole world in the final conflict against Christ. And that is the warfare. A very, very, very important. Say, in these times, to carry this empty dunes on Chimum, you know, he re echoes it with whom Babylon, the kings of the earth, with whom that is with whom is Babylon, the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been drunk with the wine of her fornication. In the Babylonian son, as I see, so I the leaders of the world have accepted it. Revelation chapter 18, verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. This is the sad state. Niviase has accepted and adopted wrong systems. So we are going to look at the wine of Babylon. So in Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7, that's what the mind. So Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. So Jeremiah, as a typical Babylon, a fallen Jeremiah, I mean, in come just so Jeremiah, who is a typical Babylon will fall in much the same way. Yamina, your hand is also the mind, say the kingdom of Babylon again will fall. I was here for what him say Babylon is the only church in the world that is arrayed in purple and scarlet color. A fasibri and a cobre, the castle, the ne the color, no, no. You can check anywhere. I'm going to post a picture that you see. That is the color of that church. And in the Bible, Revelation chapter 19, verse 4, was saying the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. So that color is the whole the only church that is arrayed or that dawns its clergy with these two colors is the Catholic church. No other church. And so John knows what he is saying. In prophecy, in Swadimu, children said, This is Babylon, this is the Antichrist power. It is a sending patch of home, even in Shisha Yahoo, now in C. A radiant Samso. So when we talk about Bab, when we talk about wine, a and son, a daddy, yes, you can now out of the vine cometh the wine. In the young son, a free bobinum, in the John chapter 15, verse 5, I am the vine and ye. Are the branches you see Babylonian system no a counterfeit system to the truth a counterfeit maybe an okra in the Jesus is the vine the Babylon so yet vine out of the wine a piba a many enum so Christ is the vine now what comes out of Christ who is the vine in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 he gives us the answer but he answered and said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God so out of the mouth of God cometh his 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 wine so Christ is the vine and out of him cometh his word so his word constitutes his teachings in church so the vine is Christ the wine constitutes the teachings of God in the, in the opposite Babylon 
Emma, a counterfeit Christ out of the more a DNA free moba counterfeit teachings. That is the wine. So, wine represents teachings or doctrines. Jesus re echoed it in John chapter 5, verse 39. He says, Search the scriptures. So, the scriptures constitute the word of God. In Tinyamiasam is the wine, and only a true wine, and a counterfeit wine. Babylonian wine, no, a counterfeit. Now, so out of Christ, who is the vine, cometh the word of God, which is the wine. So, that is the wine. In the Jesus warning, the pencil, the counterfeit system, and the who Jesus pencil was the Jewish leadership. They constituted the counterfeit system at the time. And the Jewish religion you know, a lot in similar to the, to, 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 to the Babylon or to the Roman Catholic papacy. And we see in Matthew chapter 16, verse 5 to 12, Jesus catch him say, And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we've taken no bread. Verse 8, which when Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O you of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves? Because ye have brought no bread. Do ye not understand? Neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets you took. Neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets you took up. How is it that you do not understand that I speak it not to you concerning bread? That ye should beware of the living of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Now, but what it means. Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the living of bread but of the doctrine of the pharisees and of the sadducees into the bread of the pharisees you know constitute constituted the teachings and church and the pharisees and the sadducees in the momo into wine constitute teachings the doctrines so what are the doctrines of babylon what were the doctrines and teachings of the pharisees Yesu can was him in Mark chapter 7, verse 9 and verse 13. And he said unto them, Now these were church leaders, these were the fathers, the church leaders, and they had apostatized. So Babylon is a church that had apostatized. I wouldn't repeat myself again. So in Mark chapter 7, verse 9 and 13, and he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God that ye may keep your own tradition. So, dear brethren, the process is nigh. Or more in your memories in chain, and no more do a match at the same number of a BC and I. So the teachings of the Pharisees constituted the wine at the time into the paper system. Then church and the doctrines near dear he were in your memories in chain, and no dear mamre, in your money and your mamre traditions, and she ain't seen your meas and so, and a web pia, a baby ra a radius and so verse 13. He says, making the word of God on of none effect through your tradition. So tradition has replaced the word of God. Traditions have replaced the commandments of God. And until then you hear in Christian the memory term, the world and the Christian world have all embraced traditions. Now who controlled the Jewish leadership? Yes, he didn't mean the worst. In John chapter 8, verse 44, Jesus said, Ye are of your father the devil. So who controls the prophecy? It is none other than the devil. We talked about it in Revelation chapter 13. It is the devil that gave him his seat, his power, and great authority. It is very sad. Now, my Renfrey, how did Christ address the Jewish leadership? When he was rebuking them in Matthew chapter 23, in Matthew 23, verse 9, Jesus said, And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Which people did Christ rebuke for revealing this same spirit? It was the Jewish leaders. Jesus catch the Israel one and said, They should call no man their father. Now, Christ was addressing the religious leaders of his day. That, was, that is true. Christ warned against calling these religious leaders fathers. What had these Jewish leaders with the title Father done to the truth? As I have said in Mark chapter 7, verse 8, what have they done? They had laid aside the commandments of God and have held to the traditions of men. And they were called fathers. They were leaders of the church. Now, who did Christ say was their father? We've already read the devil. Now, in the end time, which religious body on earth today call their leaders fathers? There's only one religious entity that today calls their leader. It is a church. It is a Roman Catholic church. Have they also laid aside the commandments of God for the traditions of men? Exactly. They have laid aside the commandments and they held on to tradition. Now, are they called, are the fathers also called, even they are not only called fathers, but they are also called holy, holy. Now, if the devil was the father of the Jewish religious leaders, who then is the father of the Roman Catholic system? It is none other than the devil. Now, how contaminating is this wine? 
this is a very very important thing and some send is just spready now the bible says revelation 14 8 and there followed another angel saying babylon is falling is falling that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of the her fornication so all nations and my mind the genesis i am to a summer would what will imbibe in it and are we seeing them are we seeing some of the doctrines yes the other day we mentioned some of them now let's quickly go through some of the wine of babylon number one infant baptism or child baptism today the churches have adopted it it is not grounded in scripture it is a wine of babylon because christ was not baptized was christ baptized as a child the answer is no in luke chapter 2 verse 27 28 and he that is simon came by the spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child jesus to do for him after the custom of the law then took he simon took he that is simon him that is jesus up in his arms and blessed god and said simon did not baptize christ he blessed him he did not baptize christ at what point was christ baptized back then in ad 27 christ was 30 years he knew what was right from wrong then came jesus from galilee to jordan unto john to be baptized of him so christ was aged when he was baptized child baptism is not founded on scriptures it is founded on what tradition did the disciples baptize infants the answer is no when peter appealed to them on the day of pentecost which people did he baptize in acts chapter 2 verse 37 and 38 now when they heard this they were pricked in their heart and brother was not which reached them koran to the fifth one when papa ne bonia they were pricked in their heart we are talking about mature people and said unto peter and to the rest of the apostles men and brethren what shall we do in fact what we know in history is that and as far as the jewish religion is concerned one man no more by a fashion that Pentecost and a Passover in Yunano. Now, what's the one you mean? She had to me no aircraft 12 years and above. That was the first time Christ was sent. Doing and on them, I ushered them from childhood to adulthood. So, 12 years, no, no, Papa, no, no. So, these were the number of people who had met there. And no more back on the years to call your choir. He was 12 years, no, no, Papa, no, no. And so, these were the number 12 years and above were there on the day of Pentecost. Into look at what they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. So infant baptism is a wine of Babylon. It is a counterfeit wine, a adulterated wine, a wine so Sister number two, another wine, wine number two, co mediatorial system. And a year Pia Mary. Say Mary is the Queen of Heaven, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Mary na intercede my name. Mary is dead. Mary is sleeping, waiting for the resurrection morning. There is no such thing as assumption. Mary was assumed to heaven. This is unbiblical. It is unfounded on scriptures. It is a wine of Babylon. It is paganism at the highest level. And then we could see people praying through Mary. Ladies and gentlemen, I was on some new Christ to some Musa. I was on some Sunny Sea or Yusuf Pensu. They had adopted traditions and they had rejected the law of God and the commandments of God. This is what is repeating. History is repeating itself. And then you want to mad down as I The answer is no. In Matthew 27, verse 15 and 51, Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, and behold, the veil. Of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. Every year, so we are to Madame Mutim, you know. As I see soon to Madame Mutimedia Abbey, which sanctuary service is ongoing, or soon, yet, he looked chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. Now, of the things we have spoken in, this is the psalm. We have such a high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, or so a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. Exodus 25. Verse 8, most in the picture here. Way a soon to my dying. As I see soon to my dying, baby. Papa na shall say or so. I want a Christ to aid in my end. And who is the true mediator? 1 Timothy 2, verse 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So, where from this earthly priesthood? Christ is the only high priest. There is no other priesthood anywhere. But today we have a system that has priesthood where souls go to confess their sin. The confessional system is apostasy, is paganism. It is not founded on scriptures. It is a counterfeit system. It is not founded in the Bible. It is a mediatorial system where they pray through 
Mary, they pray through other so-called saints, is unbiblical. It is not founded on scriptures. Christ is the only high priest. Through him, Jesus can be a we still have earthly priests. No, it is anti-Christ system. It is apostate. Why number three? Images and relics of worship. And when you go to cathedrals, what do you see? Images upon images. Anyhow, Eddie Christodin, Abatabatom, St. Michael, St. Andrew, St. whatever, St. whatever. Yes, you see, Debbie, Etianemra, Yayin, a memorandum, some is in chain. And your dear Mamma, and your bosom, and your appear, and your yasin, Christo Yesu could. No. Christianity is a pure, undefiled religion. In Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 and 5, the Bible says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water, under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to it. Check this image. The papacy bowing before Mary. This is apostasy. This is image. Worship. Israel walk of our image. Edi besiho, ema edanuni pam 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 muye. Aden ne ne Christo sumu yadi images abo Christo sumu, and it is widely accepted. Yesi yanzu yabo Yesu Israel vuno mo Yesu di, no mo Yesu di. But what did Moses do? Obo obo hum di era na yano. We smashed the law of God, and thousands of people died on that day. Eni ti abo sumu na mitri abo sumu. Si de nasem kasi abo sumu yam kasi asem. Na mitri and the fourth wine, and possibly the last that we can talk about due to time factor, Christmas and Easter. And Christo so much was near my tomb. Very sad. Christmas. Was Christ born in December 25? The answer is no. February we use. December call one is December what happens? Winter. In Zio talk. Look at what happened during December. In Luke chapter 2, verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Winter season, you didn't know did No, you can't. You can't. Are flocks sent to the field during the winter time in December? The answer is no. Let's ask. What month were Christ and John the Baptist conceived? Look at what the Bible says. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Lazarus. And behold, verse 36, thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived the son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. In the sixth month, the pepper pen and Gabriel, after I said, what Elizabeth? The sixth month, and of course, Jesus Christ, of Mary Ho. So how do we call the sixth month? Jewish calendar, the first month is called Nizan. It starts in March, April. In the sixth month, no, sixth month now, okay, no, April, May, June, July, August, September. August, September, October, move. And around that time, sixth month is called the month of Elul. Some months, no, Anna, Omuko, Anna, Gabriel, Eko, you know, the Mary. It was around September. For nine months, I can't worry. September. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Around May, June, and Yehu Yesu. Christ was not born in December. Huh? 25th December was not the birthday of Christ. Christ wasn't born on the 25th of December. Jewish calendar didn't trust it. Jesus was, was conceived in the month of September. He was born around June, thereabout. And it is unfounded on scriptures. Yesu Christ can be appeared as saying, kind of war. No. And kind of war. There be. No. In the Christmas, you can use your work. There is no such thing. It's not founded on the Bible. It is founded on tradition. Who do you remember? Who do you have to say? And you have to say, Yes, you see. And you have to say, 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 and you So how did Christ want us to remember his death? And then you have to say, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 20, 26, For I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This put in my remembrance. Then he found kind of Supper. The Lord's Supper. After the same manner, verse 25. After the same manner, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This is the cup. This, is, this cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. In the radiated in the Yerika Yesu, Nista. Nista. Classical example, baptism. Death of Christ, resurrection of Christ. Baptism. In Romans chapter 6, verse 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. Baptism points to the death 
and resurrection of Christ. Out of all, and many others, if there were time, we would be going on and on and on. There are so many things that infiltrate Christianity, which is not founded upon the Bible, but it is founded upon tradition. For example, tongues, hey, there was no time. At the right time, we are going to discuss those issues in detail. So this constitute, these are some of the things that constitute the wine of Babylon. Yes, sir, this is one wine. Now you name right also. Now you answer to every acquaintance on you. Now you make it ten yam yam If you not sum, I don't have income. Right here, I want to say, the other man is not paying. My own home, you to be a monty, a sin for more than seven thousand and such. Oh, yes, you did monty. Amen.